quick reminder from my last video that Tommy and Timmy sell the pumpkin starts for twice the price of leaf. Now let's move on to all the things I've learned about pumpkins. To obtain one pumpkin from the starters, you don't have to water the plant at all. And because there are four growth stages, you only have to water twice to get two pumpkins. And to get the three pumpkins growth, you need to water every day up until the fourth day, which is the day that you can finally pick your pumpkins. Having your friends come and water them won't do anything and there's no crossbreeding. I did some research on the colors and I can confirm by looking at others online and my own research that you're going to get the orange pumpkins about 70% of the time and the other rarer colors, yellow, white, and green are going to be available about 10% each. So you have a 70, 10, 10, 10 ratio of growth possibilities. All starters are random, so you won't know what color you have until it's gotten to the final growth stage and is ready to be picked. Pumpkins can be picked up with a shovel, much like flowers can, and stay in the same state, allowing you to reorganize your pumpkin patch to make it as perfect as possible. You can also choose to harvest the pumpkin that you want the color of, in this case, the white pumpkins. You can go ahead and dig a new hole and bury the pumpkin. By doing so, you're going to end up with a brand new pumpkin starter. It will always be the color of the pumpkin you placed rather than the randomized starters that you get from either Leaf or the Nook Shop. Much like the flowers in the game, when you harvest your pumpkins, the plant stays behind and that pumpkin will start growing on the second stage. So it's not exactly like a brand new starter and it won't be randomized. It will stay the color of the pumpkin that you've previously harvested. Pumpkins, much like fruit, when dropped on the ground, are just that, a little pumpkin. The nice thing about it is they also do not rot. With time traveling done on my island, I can confirm that they are not like turnips. And similarly, much like fruit, when you eat them, they're only worth one rather than the 10 that turnips are worth. Unlike flowers, however, pumpkins don't break when you run through them, so no worries there. Moving into recipes and why pumpkins are important. While I only have one recipe, you'll notice that you need orange pumpkins and actually candy to craft it. It's also customizable, so we're gonna take a look at that as well. Pumpkins are required for customization of the holiday items. You can see here that you need the yellow to customize the yellow design. And moving forward, you'll need the green to make the spooky green color. And then one step ahead, you'll also need the white to customize for the white option. While I only have one recipe, I assume this is going to be similar for all the other recipes available this season. As always, the more information I receive and find, I'll share with you. If you like the video, then like the video and hit subscribe before you go. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.